What's going on everyone? Today we're just doing a little video on a weird trick that I had happen to me. I did a fresh install because I was having some audio issues with my Raspberry Pi. Um, basically I spent three hours the last couple of days trying to figure out why I wasn't getting any audio in uh, certain games. Then I found out that Pulse Audio had to be installed. I did a lot of configuring, a lot of playing around to see if I could get it to output properly. But regardless of how I set it to output to the uh, headphone jack on the Raspberry Pi, it would not output to it on a few of my games. So I was like, all right, we'll keep going on it until uh, we get something going. Then today I decided that uh, I would get that done, get it all updated. So I went to check out a couple streams uh, on Twitch and uh, a couple of other videos on YouTube and that. And all of them were doing the weird uh, video thing. So I thought maybe the hardware acceleration was the issue again. So I turned that off and still no luck. So I thought maybe there was a problem with uh, one of the codecs and that could be it. There could have been something going on there. I tried a ton of different things, enabling, disabling, uh, um, what is it, uh, the uh, H.264 iffy, uh, things like that throughout uh, my process, updating everything, trying different uh, configurations in my boot config text, and nothing was seeming to work. Now, I did find one thing that actually did work uh, after I rebooted my Raspberry Pi. It was the last thing I spent two hours working on it uh, today to try to get it to go. And uh, I'm going to show you uh, the script here on file. I'll have it linked in the description below to the website that I got this from. And it was basically um, installing the Chromium Media Edition, I do believe it is. Uh, what is it? Internet? Uh, yeah, so Chromium Media Edition. Uh, where you can use it to play uh, Netflix, uh, Spotify, Amazon, Prime Video, uh, all that kind of stuff. Uh, so when I was uh, doing that, I installed that to see if it would help. I didn't reboot, um, and of course it didn't work. Uh, once I rebooted though, uh, even after resetting Chromium, uh, maybe you know, I removed uh, Chromium completely off my computer, off my Raspberry Pi, I should say. So the video was working in Firefox ESR, which uh, was weird because it should be working in Chromium. So I was thinking something went wrong with Chromium. So I really didn't want to have to completely uh, reformat the Raspberry Pi again and put a new image on there and update everything and reinstall everything again so this time I thought you know what I'm going to try to figure this out and um, like I said the one thing that actually managed to do it was the script here so I'll leave this here and then I was able to finally play my games with my audio and able to watch uh, the streams on Twitch and YouTube and that I went and checked out Matt's stream here, and as you can see, I was using it as a, a reference to see if I could get it to work. And finally, yes, it did work, and I asked Matt, you know, hey, can I uh, put you in my video today? And he said, sure thing, so uh, thank you, Matt, and uh, I hope this helps someone that might be looking for a workaround to why they can't get their video to play. Once again, this is uh, the next step after uh, turning that um, uh, hardware acceleration off from the settings there on my previous video that we did. Uh, so I went through everything. I tried different over because my Pi is overclocked. I tried different settings. Nothing worked. Maybe I had something set wrong with my overclocking, or I didn't, uh, um, or did something too much. So I played around with a lot of my settings. Once again, nothing worked. And uh, but running this script uh, must have updated uh, one of the drivers, uh, the codec, something in there uh, to do that. So if you're not really wanting to wipe your Raspberry Pi, I suggest giving this a try and hopefully it helps you in resolving your issues. So thank you for watching everyone. You have a wonderful day, a wonderful week, and we'll see you next time. Take care, eh?